Hello friends welcome here. The most shocking act of Daenerys was when she torched the Tarleys. In first episode of season 8, when Sam got to know about it, he could not help himself and left. Following the season premiere, actor John Bradley described Daenerys very imbalanced and very volatile. Episode 1, Winterfell, saw Bradley's character Samuel Tarly meet the Mother of Dragons, played by Amelia Clark, for the first time. But there was bad news for Sam, as Daenerys told him that she executed his father Randall and brother Dickon. In an interview to The Wrap, Jon said. Sam is now very, very aware that Danny is very imbalanced and very volatile and in quite a dangerous state with people. He sees with his own eyes and is kind of connecting this to his own set of emotions, just how cold she is and how sacrificial she is in other people's lives. And he learns the lengths that she'll go to if somebody decides to disobey her and how her quest for power seems to know no moral code when it comes to that. When she's talking to him and she's telling him about his own family, she's telling him kind of without any sense of compassion at all. She comes at it in a very clinical way and a very cold and a very detached way. And it feels psychopathic, really, that she didn't offer him any comfort at all. He felt it strongly, and that is why he will always push John to claim the throne as he knows John is a better person than her. In Season 7, Olena Tyrell had suggested Daenerys ignore clever men like Tyrion Lannister and be a dragon. This seemed like sage advice after Tyrion's plan to take Castle Rock turned out to be a disaster that got Olena killed. As a consequence, Daenerys became a dragon, a true Targaryen, and like any true Targaryen she cannot tolerate insolence, particularly of the veiled misogynistic kind. Tyrion might throw Randall in a cell or banish him to the wall, and the Starks would certainly do the latter, but Daenerys is not a Lannister or a Stark, she's a dragon. So she fed Randall and even his naively brave son to Drogon's flames. She burned them to ash in a power flex that caused any remaining Lannister holdout among the prisoners to bend the knee, and like Aegon Targaryen she claimed a little more power with fire and blood. In that moment, she looked strong, and Tyrion soft, but in classic Game of Thrones fashion, a good decision one season turns out to be a tragedy the next. Danny's equivocations as to why she burned not only Sam's arrogant father but also his stalwart brother fell as short as Lannister arrows before Drogon. Now an apolitical ally who risked his life to help her friend is suddenly a potential foe, and one with some very dangerous information that Daenerys is oblivious to. Her show of strength suddenly becomes a lapse of judgment, even a weakness of vanity. Tyrion was right, the wheel Danny wishes to break just keeps on spinning, now over the last Tarly. Could it spin again on top of her? Now it is fair to consider if Daenerys is really becoming like her father the Mad King. Aerys II was the most wicked and cruel to come out of this bloodline, as gleaned when he hostaged Brandon Stark, Ned's older brother who'd come to King's Landing to demand the return of Lyanna Stark, the sister everyone assumed Rhaegar had kidnapped. When Rickard Stark, Warden of the North, then also descended on King's Landing to reclaim his son, Aerys burned Rickard alive in his suit of armor via ghastly wildfire. Brandon Stark then died strangling himself in a noose while trying to reach his father. This was the incident that set off Robert's rebellion, and it is also a circumstance fans have long assumed would replay in some fashion. So far, Jon is not trying to risk the alliance, and most likely will remain silent. But a check on Danny would be needed to make sure she also doesn't lose her mind. Anything can happen in Game of Thrones. Daenerys can even kill Jon. This is not impossible. This is a short season, so we won't have to wait longer. That's enough for now. Please like this video and subscribe to my channel see you soon.